What's up everybody, how's it going? In this video, I'm gonna share with you one of the most important skills in software engineering that you've likely never heard of. That's right, this is not a skill that you've learned in a college class, or a skill that you've picked up at a coding boot camp, or a skill that another software engineer and YouTuber has told you. No, this is likely something that you've never heard of, and it's certainly not one of the classic skills in software engineering, like coding skills, or problem solving skills, or design skills, communication skills. No, it's none of these, but it's very important. I find it very important, and a lot of my software engineering friends and former colleagues have echoed that this skill is important. So I hope that at this point I've got your attention, and let's dive into this skill. I'm not gonna beat around the bush here, I just wanna tell you what this skill is, and the best way that I'm gonna do this is by just showing you. So, if you're a software engineer, you're probably a software engineer if you're watching this, then open your favorite browser, so if you're on a laptop or desktop, open your favorite uh, browser, let's say Chrome, Firefox, Safari, doesn't matter. If you're on mobile, then you know, change, you know, close out the YouTube app and, and open your favorite mobile browser, and type into the URL bar, www algo expert okay just kidding this is not an algo expert plug maybe it is although if you are prepping for your coding interviews or your systems design interviews then you really are going to want to master the algo expert skill namely the skill of purchasing algo expert and the great thing about that is that you can master it in just one try it takes one single try to master that skill just go to algoexpert.io slash purchase and use the promo code clem c-o-e-m for a discount on the platform but okay for real sorry for having put you through this intense buildup the skill the most most important skill that you've never heard of in software engineering is the skill of copy pasting. That's right, the skill of copy pasting, and specifically the skill of being able to navigate through a new code base, a code base that is foreign to you, and being able to build new features, add new functionality to the code base very quickly by using copy pasting. Now, of course, this might seem a little bit weird right now. Allow me to explain by sharing a story that happened recently. So for those of you who follow my channel, you probably noticed that a couple of weeks ago, I did a collaboration on YouTube with Ben Awad. He's another software engineering YouTuber. I gave him a coding interview, and then on his channel, he gave me a React coding interview. So he wanted to test my React skills. Now, before we did the interview, I had no idea what exactly it was that he was gonna ask me. And so I asked him, I asked him, are you gonna have me write a React component from scratch? Are you gonna have me write the skeleton of a React component? Now, for those of you who aren't front-end engineers or who aren't familiar with React, a React component, or rather writing the skeleton for a React component, is one of the most basic things that you can do in React. It's almost equivalent to declaring a function, for example, in a random programming language. It's super basic, super fundamental, but the reason I asked him that was because I genuinely wasn't sure if I remembered how to write a React component from scratch, how to write the skeleton of a React component. Now, of course, you might be wondering, how does that make any sense? Weren't you a software engineer at Google, at Facebook? Didn't you write the entire first version of the Algo Expert UI? Didn't you have to write front-end code and React and React components? And yes, I did, but believe it or not, I wasn't sure if I could write a React component or if I remembered how to write one. And at Google, for example, I wrote in Angular, and here I legitimately could not tell you how I would write an Angular component from scratch if I had to do that right now on the spot without looking it up. Now, at this point, you might be wondering, okay, why am I telling you this? Am I trying to prove to you that I'm a shitty front-end developer, that I don't know how to write a React component? No, the reason I'm telling you this is because the way that I've been able to write React code super well at Facebook or on Algo Expert or when I was at Google Angular code was not by memorizing or remembering how to write you know, the skeleton of a React component, but instead by using or mastering the skill of copy pasting, of navigating my way through a new code base, a foreign code base, and copy pasting my way to writing function and code. So for example, the last time that I had to write a React component from scratch is I can't even tell you, probably the, the first time that I wrote a React component on Algo Expert. 
Otherwise, whenever I have to write a React component, all I do is I copy paste an existing React component in the Algo Expert code base, or in a Facebook code base when I was at Facebook, or in a Google code base when I was at Google, and we're talking about Angular there. Okay, so that's how I was able to not, you know, get fired at my jobs and how I was able to perform really well. But how does this tie back to this important skill? Why is this such an important skill? It's an important skill because it's what allows you to effectively be performant to be very uh, productive really quickly when you're in a foreign code base. And whenever you're gonna join a new job, whether you are straight out of college or coding bootcamp or self-taught, or whether you're changing companies or even changing teams, you are gonna be faced with a new code base, a code base that you've never seen before, perhaps with technologies and internal tools that you've never used before, and it's gonna be very daunting, it's gonna be very scary, and you're gonna need to be able to master the skill of perusing the code base, of navigating the code base, seamlessly finding your way through it, copy pasting your way through it to writing functioning code. And I don't wanna pat myself on the back here, but I do think that this is something that I was particularly good at and probably still am particularly good at. And it's what allowed me to ramp up so quickly at the various companies that I worked at. For example, at Facebook, I remember during boot camp, boot camp is the period of time when you're testing out a bunch of different teams to see if you wanna join them. And you basically are parachuted on various teams and you have to implement small features or fix small bugs to see if you like those teams and they can see if they like you. And that can be a pretty like difficult thing when you're being parachuted onto so many different teams that have so many different code bases, yet I was able to do that pretty quickly, and there are a bunch of other software engineers who are able to do that really quickly, but the way that they're able to do that is by applying the skill that I'm talking about, about being able to look for stuff that's similar to the feature that you're building. Well, let's say you're adding a button on a page, or you're adding uh, an entire new page on an application, or you're building a new API endpoint, whatever it is, you look for code in the code base that supports a similar feature to the one that you're building, let's say a button on a page or another page in an application or another API endpoint, and you copy paste it, and then you tweak it, you know, tweak the internals of it such that you are able to get it to work. And this is particularly important when we're talking about big tech companies, for example, because they often have code bases with a lot of unique nuances and unique things about them. So for example, at Google, on Google Cloud Platform, writing an Angular component was not as simple as just writing an Angular component. There were weird things that were Google specific. And if you just tried to write an Angular component from scratch, you wouldn't even be successful. So you really had to look at other components that were existing in the code base copy paste them and then tweak them to make them work. Now at this point, if you're thinking that this tip is kind of useless and that you already knew this, then great, that's great for you. That means that you're probably ahead of the curve. You probably have realized that this is important, that when you have a new feature to build, instead of wasting time trying to build it from scratch, you're just gonna look at other parts of a code base where it's already been built or something similar has already been built and you're gonna copy that. But believe it or not, not all software engineers think like this immediately. I've seen a lot of software engineers when they're faced with building a new feature, they'll try to build it from scratch and they'll take so much time because it's just so difficult and they're just effectively handicapping themselves by not copy pasting another part of the code base. And if that's you, or if you think that that would have been you in the future until this video, well, hopefully this video will have changed that. This is the most important skill in software engineering or one of the most important ones that you've never heard of or that I bet you had never heard of. If you had already heard of it, let me know in the comments below. If you agree with it or if you think that it's revolutionary, let me know in the comments below as well. If you disagree with it, if you think it's complete bullshit, let me know in the comments below. I always appreciate healthy feedback. And otherwise, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter if you enjoy short form written content. Instagram if you like pictures, and otherwise I will see you in the next video.